motherfuckers. Hey, so uh, this is vlog 31 and I know it's getting quite a high number now so thanks for sticking around for so long. If you're new, feel free to subscribe and yeah, start off with the fact that Dragon Age has arrived. Dragon Age 2, sorry. And yeah, I can't actually play it yet. I installed the game as you would, got all the registration and all that shit done and then I get presented with So yeah, um, thank you by the way for having that kind of internet authentication type of thing, but um, I got kind of excited because I thought I could have started with gaming channel videos, but apparently I can't. So I'll have to start doing them tomorrow when I come back from university. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because it's still a day before release, so can't really complain too much. It's just a bit of an, a bastard. You know. Also, um, this came back at 11, and then I got an email from Amazon saying that Two Worlds 2 had been dispatched as well. So, yeah, that was kind of an odd one because I was expecting to get delayed again or something, but it's going to be coming soon. That won't be going on the gaming channel because it's going to be on the PS3, so, yeah. I have no tales of university or trains or buses. This little shit, and I'm currently in the middle of doing an AI game assignment, so yeah, th this is my little break. <laughs> You're my break. And we've been given another one in that module to simulate a interview process. So we've got to write a CV, we've got to send a job application, we have to have some faux interview. And like, now I don't really care about interviews and stuff because obviously I've got my newfound confidence and shit. But it's still crap. Like, you have to sit down in a chair, look at these two lecturers and pretend that they're, they're going to be a boss or something. And you have to go into this kind of role play fetishy type of thing. And I ain't down with that. <laughs> well, bad imagery in my head then of Andrew Way naked. Um, so, anyway. We've got to do that. Virus database has been updated. Thank you, bitch. And yeah, um, it's all good. I've managed to get on top of all my assignments now, so they're not so overwhelmingly disappointingly shit. Well, they're still disappointingly shit, but they're not so overwhelming. I've also... Is this the mode of interruption or something for my vlog? So I've had a bit of a delay with my passport application because I found out that I had to submit a lost or stolen form alongside it because I had the child passport once and it's long since disappeared because I ripped it apart because it had expired long ago. But we have to send that form away anyway. And also for a counter signature on the passport, you need someone for professional status and those not related by blood or marriage and has known me for longer than two years, so that means I couldn't have done my uni lectures. I couldn't do my doctor because I've been there for years. Couldn't do my dentist because I'm new there. So we ended up having to send it to a nurse friend of mine. So that should hopefully be resolved by Monday, and I should hopefully be able to send my passport application off on that Monday as well, and get it back like four to six weeks later, which should align in time with May. That's the plan, anyway. And then the next step is to apply for a travel visa because Barack Obama decided that we have to have a travel visa to visit the country instead of traveling a visa waiver form on the plane. So that's fun. So hopefully that doesn't get in the way of my thing, but I shouldn't imagine that would take too long. I, sh I, d I don't think that would take too long to process. Right? Have any of you applied for visas before? Could you tell me in the description how long it takes roughly? That'd be very useful. And there is also a change of plan with my trip to America. I will still be going to New York, I'll be staying in Manhattan for one night. And then I will be catching a super speed train or something to Washington DC. There I will be picked up by my friend and then I will be going to Virginia. Staying there for a week. And then my other friend will pick me up from there 
take me to Northern Carolina and I'll stay there for like six or seven days and then I go back to DC, back to New York, back to Wales and that's the new plan hopefully it doesn't change this time right? it's gone Jade you trying to steal my limelight because we know that people seem to prefer you they love you, you should do something can you meow? you do tricks for them? You don't do tricks, you're just gonna stare at me like a spastic for talking to myself. Cause I'd. Oh. Okay. Also, I have started playing Call of Duty Black Ops again, and I just wanted to say that the new maps for First Strike are awesome. My favourite is Kowloon and Berlin Wall. Leave a comment below of your favourite map from the First Strike pack. And yes, I've only just played them because I'm on the PS3, so I'm a bit delayed from the Xbox 360. Don't judge. I'm not a fan of anything. Okay. On a relation note to games, my gaming channel still exists, and if you go over there, subscribe, get ready for Dragon Age 2. I'll be doing commentary over the top of it, and it should be amusing for you. And also, I tend to be quite vigorous because it's an RPG, and I love getting as much as I can from them, so it's not just going to be flying through it, it's going to be quite a long length of videos I imagine. The only thing that's concerning me with these videos is that I'll be recording with Fraps and I'm hoping that there's no kind of corruption of the data because that would mean I have to miss out segments or go back which is not going to be very good so as a preemptive measure I probably have to save quite often and make a few different slots so that it doesn't like so I can always go back if I need to and Jid seriously like she's Annoying. Don't be going, oh, that's nasty to your cat. She's annoying. My mother can vouch for me. She's cute, but she's annoying as fuck. No lie. And also, you've only got until the end of today. Well, you'd be watching this on Friday. So, at the end of today, that's when the moderator module for Q&A 7 ends. So make sure you go up to the channel and leave your questions for that video. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until next. Fortnite's one. Jed, why do you do this to me for? <laughs> why? She loves the camera, apparently. I've currently got a headache as well. So that's not fun. It's probably because I've overslept. Or underslept. I'm not really sure how long I've slept for, but it was... It seems like quite a while. I had a weird dream too, it was about... Well, I don't know how explicit I can be with it, but... There was a woman on top of some building and... She decided to jump off and as she fell down... Like, all the buildings around it sort of... Conjurated into like... Some kind of mass and then... They just all fell flat straight to the floor as she hit the floor as well. But then as she hit the floor, her body sort of warped through the floor. And then everything under the floor became everything above the floor. And it was just trippy as fuck. It was like something from Portals. And if you haven't played Portals, then... I check, I'd check. i recommend you check it out because it's a head fuck of a game. Good though, good for puzzles if you like puzzles. <laughs> My friend also gifted me a copy of Portals for the PC. Which means, Jid, I'm telling you, wise up. Which means that I can also do gameplay footage and commentary of that game as well. Which should be quite interesting because I can't really play for too long because I've got like some kind of optical illusional epilepsy. Which is weird. But anyway, I can try doing that as well. Maybe I'll do that after Dragon Age or something because I'll obviously need to have another game. I don't really buy much PC games so... I don't have to keep that in mind, I think. Jed. I. Can you. S stay in my lap if you stay in anyway, because you. Do my head in. So, this is all I needed to say for this vlog. So, as I was going to the channel, I'll go to the moderator module and ask questions. You haven't got very long to get them in for QA 7, so I recommend you be fast. Otherwise, wait until afterwards and you can leave them for QA 8. Um, also, go to my gaming channel and subscribe. 
Dragon Age 2 will be there soon and it's going to be quite a long, good, humorous process and I hope to bring you along with me. <laughs> That's a little cheesy. And also the Q&A will be up on Saturday but you'll probably be able to watch it on Sunday. I'm now going to go and do some... What language was that? I'm now going to go and do some of my AI level thing and I'll try anyway. So I shall see you the vlog on... I won't, I'll see you the Q&A on Saturday. Au revoir, monsieur, madame, thing, wherever you may be, and, um, yeah, bye. And another thing I needed to mention. <laughs>